Hey everybody, Tom here. Just wanted to show you my compost bin. Um, it is going off the chain right now with squash plants. Squash love horse manure. And I filled this thing with horse manure. Actually, I layered it. Uh, it was compost that was in here for a year. And then I put it in this bin and layered it with some horse manure that I got from someone local. Um, so I know exactly what was in the horse manure. And there's nothing in it but oats for the most part. Uh, and a little bit of pine bedding. But um, we've got some good stuff going on here. These are different types of squash plants. This is a straight neck squash that I got from Baker Creek. Um, and this is a zucchini. I think it's a Black Beauty zucchini. Uh, and then this is a green striped uh, Kershaw, which is uh, pest resistant. I'm so excited about a squash that is borer resistant. Um, it's probably not as borer resistant when you put it with other squashes though that um, put off the, the you know, more hormones. This is probably more squash resistant because of the hormones that it puts off. And if these put off a whole lot more than this one does and I planted it next to them, then it's going to defeat the, uh, the pest resistance that I'm getting. So that might not have been the best idea, but this is a lot of nutrition and they should grow really, really well right here. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but we've got a bunch of stuff in here. Very cool. This is Egyptian spinach down here. Uh, it's coming up a little bit slower, but it's a perennial. So I'm going to probably transplant that out of here when we uh, change out our compost at the end of the season. But here we've got uh, straight neck squash. Um, these are sun gold tomatoes. This is early eggplant. We've got some, some dill interplanted in here. Uh, there's some clovers. Uh, this is red, red clover, edible clover in here as well. Um, very cool. I'm not sure what this is. I, it kind of showed up and then I planted it. And I'm growing so much stuff this year that's different. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I, I kind of lost track. I have no idea what this is, but it looks beautiful and it's not a weed that I've ever seen in my yard before. So it has to be something that came with the, the new seeds I'm doing this year. Um, so what we're looking at is I just tied some strings here and we're going to be doing some vertical growing. You can see at the top, I put a loop knot so we can pull that out if we need to and make it longer or shorter either way. And I left some slack in it here so that way we can spin it around the the uh, vines as they grow just keep keep looping it around like this um, and you can see how I've already done it to the tomatoes they're the easiest to see you just loop it all the way around spiral it up like a candy cane and all the way up to the top here real quick for you guys that have never seen this you can actually take a male flower from one plant this is a squash plant but it's a black zucchini and this is a yellow straight neck squash so both squashes though and we can actually take the male flower from one and use this as a paintbrush so the pistol to the stamen is how that works just like that there we go and just brushing it on I like to do a little bit, but really it's the size of an insect particle where, where insects carry particles and put on the, the flowers. So it really doesn't have to be big at all. And it doesn't really matter if you mess up the flower either, but it does protect the, the, um, the stamen inside, or the pistol rather, if you close it up like this uh, and just, just kind of leave it so that it's untouched. That's what I like to do. But that's it, and that should pollinate. Um, or actually we just pollinated it so that should be good in a, a couple days it'll start growing real quick here and we'll come out and in the morning it'll be small and, and towards the end of the day it's going to get huge all right guys that's hand pollinating squash plants using the male flower from a zucchini to the female flower of a yellow straight neck squash all right and uh, we've also talked a little bit about how to trellis these and do vertical growing um, so we can use uh, a couple garden um, garden wires around the base of the plants if you want to or if you've got a place to tie on to you can do that um, and definitely I recommend using the loop knot here so that way you can always pull on it and get it undone to um, loosen it or tighten it whatever you'd like to do and uh, interplanting this is way too close to do um, eggplants and zucchinis but if we do vertical growing as these grow up and we trim the bottom leaves these should be perfect in terms of the sun coming in from the angle here and then getting good amounts of sun but not getting too much so I think this is going to be a real good setup the way this is interplanted it's all about pre-visualizing guys uh, permaculture is a, and, and polyculture is about seeing the future so very very exciting here um, thank you for joining me guys I hope this was interesting